Quantum Dot. No. See, the title is all wrong. We watched Dot Hack slash slash Quantum, I guess. Which, you know, if. Well, I can see why they did that, right? By the time you are watching this, Dot Hack could be a top level domain. So, if they put it in the right order, say quantum.hack it might lead to some website if you put it into your browser and they might not want that so this is a short anime it's really more like a movie than a series so there is this online game called the world not unlike massively multiplayer games we play today I didn't have high expectations going in I thought well they'll get it all wrong and it will be painful to watch, but to my surprise there was very little of that. In fact, I thought it was pretty believable for the most part. I mean, they play with a VR visor thing that really just looks like a more fancy version of the Oculus Rift that's coming out or is out already. Then there's the idea of implanting a chip in your brain for authentication. I can see that happening. You can lose your phone, but you cannot lose your head. Or if you do, you wouldn't care about it after a few short moments. But a chip in your head, even if it just holds a private key, if it does nothing more than authenticate you to anything you wanted, well, I think that's useful. I trade my hundreds of passwords for one chip in my brain any day, wouldn't you? Let me know in the comments below. Also, leave a like if you want me to make more of these review videos. And subscribe, maybe? See you soon. Bye.